will actually be installed right here on this area, this flat area. So there's four push pins holding this on. So what I'm going to use is a small Phillips screwdriver. I don't put a rag over the screwdriver so that I don't scratch up the plastic. You may not care. Take a small screwdriver, pry these out. We'll take all four of them out. That's two. That is four. This is where we're going to install the socket. Make sure that you, you go as far forward as you can with your cut. You can see a ridge is basically where you want the front of the port. That way you avoid having the cut on the tank itself. Take a piece of masking tape and put it over the plastic. Something that we can make our marks on. We'll get some measurements to get this cut. We take the socket out of the pack. Um, it does come with a bunch of zip ties and things that we're not going to need. It also has a whole lot of wire which we're going to end up cutting. Okay, so this little mounting bracket that came with it, that's something that we're not going to need as well. We'll just toss that to the side. And we're going to mount it in this direction. Let's get some measurements so we can cut the plastic. We have a mark for the port. We'll take a little Dremel tool and make some cuts on the four sides. Here on the side of the bike, this is the right side. We're going to remove this cover here. Just one Allen head bolt right here. Two of those push pins on the inside. On the inside of here, you can see the plug. That is it down there. That is the accessory plug. I also pulled out two more push pins on the inside. So that way I can get a little room to pull this out. I managed to pull it out from the outside. This is the plug that went to the inside. And this is what we're going to use to plug into this accessory socket. We're going to remove the two rubber plugs in here. Now this is open. Just put these pins back in to hold it in place. That way I can see how much wire I need to cut. This is the one off of the USB port, just a couple of inches past the edge of the tank. So we can strip this back. So once we peel back the insulation on the USB port, a red wire and a black wire. The next thing we have to do, figure out what is positive, which is negative. There is a black wire and a brown and yellow wire. Take the two wires and strip them back just a little. Just like that. And we've got to take these boots here and over the wire. We're going to take these little spade connectors and that's going to crimp onto here. The, the back part crimps onto the boot, the front part catches the wire. Same thing on the other side and that is just going to plug into our plug which will attach to our accessory socket on the bike. Set up here at the focus. That's what it looks like before you crimp it. So once you once you crimp it down, it's going to look like that. Crimp the first part onto the yellow plug. You crimp the second part onto the wire. And go ahead and repeat that for the second one. Okay. You just want to make sure that you take notice of the orientation of the plug um, and how it relates on the other end. Just gonna plug those in just like that. And then the inside like that. 
you got a good waterproof connection. Um, this should give you a pretty good seal. And go ahead and put it on the bike. Now all we need to do is reinstall everything. We'll run that wire through the side, pull the plug back in. When you put these back on, you just push the button back and press it in, um, and that's what locks it in place. Real simple to do. We have this plugged into the phone, we have it plugged into the USB. We'll turn on the key and see if we get something on the screen, and let's see what we get. The key is on, and we have power. Looks like everything's a go, guys. And that's it. Pretty simple installation.